Hey everybody, it's Tammy, and today's video is going to be all about the flea market. I'm going to show you my vintagey finds from this weekend. I am going to show you what you can do with something that you might leave behind, and if you stick around to the end, I did a little taping at the flea market this morning just to kind of show you what the market's like where I shop at. So let's get to it. Let me begin with these little darlings. Aren't they the best? These were $2. They are so sweet. I have a vintage Christmas collection of um, little angels playing musical instruments and little choir boys singing. And um, these little guys just fit right into that. I just love them so much. They are so sweet and um, very, very dear. And then speaking of collections, gosh, do you guys have a lot of collections? I mean, is it is it only me? I just seem to collect everything. But for like the past 20 years, I've picked up at the flea market and really you can't, I, I don't get that lucky that often. So I don't have a lot of these, but I find these vintage turkey salt and pepper shakers. These are Japan. They're lightweight. They're beautiful. Isn't this female turkey pretty? Just so unusual. And so these will go into my vintage turkey salt and pepper collection. And I'm going to pack them up, clean them up and pack them up for next year. And I look forward to bringing them out. This little guy right here, I went up to a table and the little old man was just so sweet and he didn't really have much vintage on the table, but this was sitting there and I said, how much is this? And he said, you only want one piece? And I said, yeah. And he said, oh, you can have it for free. So that was my deal of the day. And this is a darling little Rudolph. And I think a month ago I found his brother. So I'm starting to get a collection of these. And uh, these are really cute to use in assemblages or, you know, just just to display. They're perfect vintageness, right? Okay, guys, look at this. Look at this mistletoe ball here, okay? <laughs> it's like 1960s plastic. As soon as I got it home, I just hung it up real quick between my living room and dining room. And it is so, so sweet. And these little people kissing in there, it was a dollar. I mean, seriously. And it's, it's absolutely precious. And, you know, sometimes I look at things like this and this is the reason that I go to the flea market right here. You know, it's these things are so special. Okay, so let me just move these out of the way a little bit. Now I talked about finding something that you are just walking past something you normally really wouldn't pick up. You wouldn't take home. And that's gonna apply to this snow globe. Now, there are these older snow globes out there. The water may be gone, but they're nostalgic and they're sweet and they make a really cute collection. Now, some of them, this one in particular, it was 50 cents. It's all grungy. It never had water in it to begin with. It's got some kind of light bulb back there and had a battery thing here or something. And it's pretty rough. It's kind of nasty looking. So what I do when I find something like this is if you look inside there, there is like the most cutest little plastic pieces that can be reused. And a few years ago, this is what I made. I had an old book. Okay. It's just a, it was just a kind of a little, little old vintage book that I had. And on the back side, it was blank. So I had a stencil, just using a little bit of paint. I stenciled on a holy night. And then the top of this book, I added, this was just like a little bit of tinsel garland at the top. And out of an old snow globe that was in pretty bad shape was this nativity scene. So what I did was basically, I think what I did with that one is covered it with a towel and tapped it with a hammer and it fell apart. You can probably take a screwdriver maybe and pry this bottom off. And I took the little nativity scene out and glued it across the top of this book. And of course, since it's a book, it just stands up really cute on its own, like so. And um, so you can display it perfectly. So isn't that just like a really cute idea? I mean, you can take this idea and run with it because you can pull these little things out. They're filled with so many different cute things. So this is Oh Holy Night out of the old nativity scene from a snow globe. 
Then there's the times that you stumble upon something and of course it just uh, speeds up your heart rate and that's what happened here. Lovely lady, she had these beautiful bags filled with old books, $5 a bag, right? And um, I was, I, I am a sucker for old books. I can't pass them by. I love them. And especially when they're like this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Holly Berries from Dickens. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Um, I'm actually going to put this with my Christmas decorations so I can, um, so I can decorate with it. Isn't this just absolutely beautiful? And then I can go straight into New Year's because look at this one, you guys, for Old Anxiety, Robert Burns. Um, just the, the pictures in here are so beautiful and everything is just sparkly with gold. Um, I just, I, I absolutely think this is so beautiful, just so beautiful. And uh, this is Happy Days, Roll Onward, Leading Up the Golden Year, a Tennyson calendar for 1908. And once again, um, this is, look at this, this is a beautiful, the May Queen, beautiful calendar for the year of 1908 with these gorgeous pictures and writing and the gardener's daughter. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Then we have the secret of a happy day and these beautiful little children. This was a gift in 1909 to someone. And uh, once again, um, I haven't read this one yet, but I plan on reading this one soon. And um, this is once again, just, just absolutely beautiful. Okay. Let's see what we got in this bag. Look at the, look at the cover on this. Isn't that stunning? This is Morning Thoughts. This was a little bit religious, uh, like a thought for every morning. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Just to put that like on your table in the morning where you enjoy coffee and just look at that in the morning. These right here, I love these. These are all from the 1920s and these are all books of, with poetry and uh, they're just beautiful. Once again, this was these were from... Um, from Wanda to Violet and Gifts in 1939 and I have read all three of these the poems are beautiful and um oh I, I let me see this one here no this yes it's this one here the poem in here was just it was so beautiful I had to read it two times so this right here was probably my favorite thing I have found in a super long time I mean this is like totally special and uh, a lot of you have asked me about where I go to the flea market. Um, I, I'm going to consider myself lucky because um, I live out um, in central New Jersey. I'm by the Jersey Shore. And we do have a flea market that has been here, like, I, I don't even know how many years. It's just, like, been here forever. It's an outdoor market. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. And weather permitting, I mean, unless there's a blizzard, you know, it's, like, usually going on. And they have everything from, like, dollar store closeouts to people come with their household things. There's estate sale cleanouts and there's a lot of vintage in between. And so this morning I put together a little slideshow for you of, of the market and I hope you enjoy the tour. And um, I'm going to see you soon because I've got another Christmas project that I'm working on that I want to share. So you guys enjoy your day and I will see you soon.